Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, so, um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be making or heating up for supper tonight. Not making. Baking. It's a frozen dinner. Big surprise. And I haven't tried this one before. I'm a little bit nervous about it, but every one of these meals I've tried before has been really good. But this is another Amy's Bowls. You know, in the past, I talked about Amy's Meals and... How even if my baby is very picky eaters, they're very, very good, very, very filling. So I have this Amy's bowl. This is the Mexican casserole. It's made with organic corn and beans and topped with enchilada sauce and cheese. It's gluten free, no GMOs, and this is what it looks like. Amy's bowls, Mexican casserole, made with organic corn and beans, and top of enchilada sauce, and cheese. So, I'm going to bake this. Let me insert the temperature up to 400. And so we're going to open up. This is what it looks like in the packaging. Let me get it open. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right. Okay, now I'm not a big fan of enchilada sauce, so if I have to top with that, I'm like, mmm, but you know what? It's okay. The back of the box, in case you're not already hungry, it says Amy's Mexican casserole bowl is truly delicious. Drawing on the rich Mexican heritage of our California community, Amy's chef Fred has created a dish that combines the authentic flavor and ingredients of the traditional tamale with the easy eating convenience of Amy's entrees in a bowl. It's made from organic white corn masa, black beans, sweet golden corn, and tomatoes with olives and a careful blend of chili peppers and spices. I'm not good with hot stuff, so we'll see how that goes. We're sure you're welcome and thoroughly enjoy this addition to Amy's family of Mexican food. So this is what it looks like without, without the packaging on it. I don't want it to fall out, but there you go. So oven is preheating to 400 degrees, and it bakes for, I always bake in the oven. I never microwave these things. I always put them in the oven. I prefer it that way. This bakes for 40 minutes. Then you see, wait, cover tray with foil. And place on a baking sheet. Oh, I have to cover the foil. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hang on. I got foil. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't see that part. Okay. Cover with foil. Okay, I'm doing that right now as we speak. Okay, cover with foil. And you bake it for 40 minutes. Take the foil off. And bake for 15 more minutes. So it's 50, about 55 minutes, almost a full hour. Wow. So I'm gonna go in this oven preheat. I'll pop this in the oven when it's totally done. Once, once it's baked a full 55 minutes, I will show you what it looks like and do a little taste test. So I will check back up with you guys when this is done in about an hour. Hey guys. Okay, so um, the oven just beep, which means that the Amy's Bowls dinner is done. We're going to see how it looks. Hang on. Get it out of this thing here. Ugh. Hot oven. Hot, hot, hot. Woo! Okay, let me turn this around so you can see what it looks like. Hang on. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. Fresh out of the oven. I have to say, it looks pretty good. Yum, yum, yum. Now, I've decided not to do a taste test on camera because I'm going to doctor this up a little bit. I'm sure it's good as is, but I'm going to add a little bit of shredded cheese, some seasonings, some spices, that kind of thing, and kind of doctor it up a little bit and take me a minute to do that. And plus, I'm just plain hungry and I just want to eat, so, <laughs> so I'm not going to do a taste test uh, on, on camera, but um, I'm sure it's going to be amazingly good. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm going to go ahead and go and get this ready to eat. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, I know I, I was in the video with that last clip, but <coughs> I um, wanted to tell you that food was amazing. 
I put uh, some seasonings on top and put a little bit of shredded cheese on top, let that melt, and then I had a little bit of sour cream that I ate with it. Oh my goodness, it was so good. I have loved every Amy's item I've ever tried. Her stuff is so good. So this is our uh, home run for me. So be sure and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below for what your favorite frozen dinner is that you like to eat, your favorite brand and favorite type. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.